Hey, this is Ross with The Verge, and we are checking out the new Fall 2011 Xbox Live dashboard update. It should be launching to all Xbox 360 consoles in the week of December 4th. So the first thing you will notice with the new update, this is actually the second big visual revision uh, after the blades that it launched with in the new Xbox experience that came out a couple years ago. Um, in fact, mirrors very similar to the Metro UI design you've seen in Windows Phone devices, in the upcoming Windows 8 uh, panel, and even the Kinect Hub that we saw a preview of back uh, about a year ago when the Kinect launched. Now, speaking of the Kinect, um, there's actually a lot of improved Kinect functionality, uh, first and foremost being the Bing Search that you can actually access with your voice. If you go all the way to the left panel, you'll see Bing Search for apps, Search for whatever. You can do it as a text thing, but it's actually the biggest pain. Uh, better yet, from anywhere in the menu, you can just go ahead and scream Xbox, Bing, the gun stringer. So there he goes, just thinking. The Bing search only works when you're connected on live, and what it'll do, it lets you search for games, movies, TVs, anything that Microsoft offers and can let you download and or purchase. So as you see here, we have a uh, couple choices for the gun stringer, the game itself, uh, a launch trailer, uh, a few ads is always there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, we can also do it by search, uh, by voice. Xbox, the gun stringer, item two, it loads up. And we don't have the game yet, but it is a free download, so we can go ahead and just say uh, download. And when we, once we get into the internal menu, we can use connect to wave, but voice control is pretty much gone at this point. So go ahead and tap wave. Finds it. And confirming download. So in addition to games, you can also use Bing to search for the movies, TV, and music that Xbox offers. Uh, for example, let's give this a shot. Xbox, Bing Modern Family. Okay, as you see, we'll have Modern Family, which is available in mul multiple episodes. And for some reason, the Sonic Generations demo, American Idol Encore, downloadable music, Opposite Day, and the like. Let's go ahead and look at uh, what we want in Modern Family. Xbox. Xbox. There you go. Modern Family. Season 2. Good cop, bad dog. All right, and then it lets you purchase through Zune Music. Um, it is a still finicky service, but it is nice that unlike last version of this, you can actually use more natural language. You can actually say the episodes you want. You don't just have to go panel one, panel two. And it does have that latent search function. So with this new update, Microsoft is making a much bigger push toward video. Um, and including that, they're going to be updating the Netflix app, um, and adding in a uh, YouTube app, which is not here yet, but should be there um, launch week. Uh, they've overhauled the ESPN app, they've added sci-fi, epics, daily motion, uh, Vivo should be coming up. Um, there's a lot more apps. Um, Verizon Fios will be adding uh, live TV, as will Comcast, uh, to various aspects. Basically, Microsoft's ultimate goal is to keep your Xbox on at all times and kind of watch video through the console itself with some added functionality. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sci-fi, which is offering some on-demand options. OK, so after something of a elongated load time, you get the sci-fi menu. It is, has the exact same Metro UI as everything else on the new dashboard update. Um, and you can search through it. You can look through the new show content. You can look at some of the game trailers that sci-fi offers. Um, but as with everything else, we're most interested in the more natural language uh, connect voice options. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Xbox, being human. And you can use this to go through the entire system. Video, cast and crew, episode guides. There goes the neighborhood part one. And from here, you can uh, take a look at some of the information about the episode. You can get more video options. Um, or if you want, you can share. The other big thing Microsoft is touting with this update is the ability to share items through Facebook, and even the most inane things like an episode of uh, Being Human. So we can go ahead and just do the share function. And what this will do is this will bring up uh, my Facebook account. I've already got that tied in from earlier. And you can just add a wall post that says, um, 
Exactly. It just says you're interested in being a human episode. There's not a lot of functionality for this one, but they do have some cool Facebook features elsewhere in the new dashboard. So let's go out of here. So now again, there will be integration with Verizon Fios Live TV and On Demand, Comcast Video On Demand, and they will have some new apps like HBO Go and a new Netflix, and of course, uh, most excited of all, the YouTube app. Unfortunately, we don't have that in the preview, but it should be rolling out sometime this week. Now, some of the other big features that Microsoft is rolling out with the new update uh, includes beacons and cloud storage. Now, let's go ahead and show beacons. Uh, the idea behind this is that there are times when I want to play a game like Call of Duty, but I do not want to wait. I want to go ahead and say I want to play the game, wait for my friends to get on, and at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever. Um, so to get there, you go from the friends, the social tab, go to your friends, and then go down to beacons and activity. Now what we can do here is we can create a beacon, and this will basically say, it will tell me when my friends are playing this game. And if I want, I can add messages so other people can see my beacons. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Modern Warfare 3. Um, the comment that's default is, I want to play this game with friends. I'm going to go ahead and leave that, but you can modify it if you want. You can also choose to share to social networks, and you can tell everyone on Facebook, yes, I want to play this right now. Anyone who's seeing this, please come on and play with me. So let me go ahead and set the beacon. And that's set, and I have a ch um, if I want to have a change of heart about sharing this on Facebook, I can do that, and I can also further modify the message. So I'm going to cancel. I don't want Facebook to see that. Um, but all the same, my beacon is still there. And uh, every time one of my friends starts playing Modern Warfare 3, I'll get an alert on the bottom. Anyone who wants to see, you know, go through their friend's beacon should be able to see this as well. So that's it. The other big new feature, uh, if you go over to settings, is cloud storage. Now this one's, uh, you have to enable, at least in this one, you have to enable yourself. But if you go over to uh, system, you'll see storage options. From storage options, you'll see all devices, you'll see hard drive, and you'll see cloud saved games. It actually shows up just like the memory card and hard drive does. Now Microsoft is offering you 511 megs of storage in the cloud. And from there, if you are on someone else's uh, Xbox, you can go ahead and bring in your save files provided you've already saved them to the cloud. Now we've already had Call of Duty saved here. I'm going to go ahead and move it off just to show you how easy it is. And that's that. But if I want to move it back, I can do that. And then if I wanted to sign on to someone else's Xbox, all my save files uh, where I left, last left off in the campaign, that will all show up. And this works for any game. Uh, just like a memory card. So that's kind, of a, that's kind of a general overview of what we're going to see for the new dashboard update. There's plenty more in store, a lot of video content uh, to come, including the YouTube app, uh, a much improved Netflix app we've seen a preview of, but we don't have it here, unfortunately. Now again, all that should be arriving the week of December 4th, which will roll to anyone that has an Xbox 360. And that's it. Now if you don't mind me, I'm going to start playing some Call of Duty. Come here, you. Come on. Go on, babe. Off the set. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs>